my fucking god, it is time for another Harambe Orange gangbang video! Day 4 of my little hardcore Iron Man. Theoretically, it's not really day 4, but it's kind of episode 4. But I like the word day a lot better than part, or episode, or fantasy episode, maybe? I don't know, day could really mean a lot of things. In the Bible, it talks about God creating Taco Bell and KFC in 7 days. The word day doesn't necessarily mean like 24 hours, it could mean like millions of years for one day. Because deciding what should be in a chalupa, well it could take a while. Mainly because, have you guys ever noticed if you put the wrong type of hot sauce in a chalupa it tastes like butthole? Ugh, it just tastes pretty fucking bad. So anyways, this is day 4, or rather episode 4, whatever the hell you want to call it. Going to continue to call it day instead of episodes, just because I've done so much shit on my channel with part, you know, like episode, it's day seems kind of better than episode. Anyways, this is probably about five hours of me doing my hardcore Iron Man. Uh, then afterwards, I did a 24 hour live stream. So, altogether, we have uh, a lot of hours put into this episode. And if you guys are enjoying these type of videos, please thumbs it up because it takes a while for me to make these videos. And definitely add and edit a whole bunch of commentary as well. So anyways, day four uh, previous goals was to do Plague City, Biohazard, Arty Cloak, or Achieve an Arty Cloak, uh, 40 Thieving, 40 Range, and 45 Magic. Not really sure why I picked 45 Magic. Uh, it, I should have picked like 55 Magic, but you know, 45 is better than you know nothing. So anyways... Let's uh, get right into it and see what goals we have achieved. So one of the basic things that I did was, uh, well, I tried getting an arty cloak. I should say I did get an arty cloak, but I don't want to be a little spoiler, which you guys will see probably in about like three fucking minutes. Anyways, Plague City, Biohazard, two awesome quests on this game that have actually pretty, pretty decent storylines. I really can't complain about doing Plague City because one, it doesn't really make you do anything like too outrageous. You literally, like, you know, sneak into the other side of West Ardongi, and you find out that they're a big, gigantic sausage factory. Woo! Secret Salami Factory has been discovered! Um, and then, of course, Biohazard is an awesome quest where you learn that, well, everyone's kind of really getting fooled and tricked to doing a whole bunch of uh, stupid shit on this game. Uh, then, of course, you know, on Old School RuneScape, it kind of stops the mornings in Part 2, which is really a true disappointment, because on RS3, or Modern Day RuneScape, you actually learn what the mourners are planning on doing, or rather, the whole battle takes place to get into the Elf City, um, which those type of quests are actually awesome. I forgot the name of the quest in RS3 after mornings in Part 2 that you need to do to actually get into the Elf City, uh, I just think of it as titties in my bum bum, but it has a proper name and other stuff. Anyways, yeah, so Biohazard was done. Uh, that quest was actually pretty awesome. I didn't fuck up the damn little vials like I did the very first time years ago. When I did this shit back in like 2000... Oh god, I did Biohazard for the very first time back in like 2009, I think. And, uh, well, you know, there wasn't a lot of video guides on YouTube, so it kind of sucked. Anyways, as you are seeing, this is the first time ever I went into the wild on this account yet. Um, so I probably most likely had maybe, I want to say, a good 50 hours on my Hardcore Iron Man account. Um, and it would be a shame if I teleported to the wild and got one swiped by some asshole. Um, and then my account was over trying to do a stupid little arty task. The arty task for easy, you have to pull the lever... You know, it kind of sucks if someone is over there and you kind of get fucked. But then again, you know, someone would have to be in your combat level range or 40 levels. Um, then, of course, we did Rune Mysteries. I had to do that to actually teleport the lever to a pure essence mine. So we kind of really... So doing getting the Arctic Cloak, we actually did more than just two quests. Um, and we also got some skill levels as well. Hooray! Gaining levels are amazing because, well, they need to be done to level some shit up. Of course, afterwards, um, we then did some ranging. Oh, yes, we already got the Arty Cloak. I'm not sure if that video already posted. Uh, yep, yep, we do have an Arty Cloak on us, which actually looks pretty awesome. 
Um, I kind of just sped up the clip, but yes, we did actually test out our already low cloak and we got 20 range. We got level 60 fishing, uh, which is right now still my primary source of money making on this game. And of course, something happened to our account. Well, we got something that we've been trying to get for many, many moons. Uh, well, yeah, it kind of really only took about five hours at fucking fire giants, but it happened. Oh my god, yes! 5,000 motherfucking kills! Woohoo! Oh my fucking testicles! Oh Jesus, do you know how many fucking kills? Oh my god! It's like I just fucking took a gigantic shit and came in my pants at the same time. Oh, it only took fucking. Literally from level fucking 9 magic till this. Ah, oh, motherfuckers, man. Ah, uh, today is a glorious day because we get to butt rape a dragon during Dragon Slayer. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, Jesus. Now I can go and poop. Now that clip was a live action clip, which means it wasn't a load of voiceover, a little clip. That was my reaction to a rune scimitar, and as you're seeing right now, I can put my rune scimitar to good use. I actually quit on my ultimate Iron Man because I could not get a rune scimitar. And it was very fucking annoying, and it made me literally quit ultimate Iron Man. Um, I got 50 magic, 40 range, I even tried meleeing the fire giants, and I spent so much time, I just really couldn't get one. And it took me literally over four fucking hours um, for me to actually get one uh, during my 24 hour livestream. But as you see, we just bought room plate legs, and our goal uh, for the 24-hour livestream, one of the mini goals was to actually get full rune, uh, which you will see momentarily. But right now, what we're doing is just basically killing the Michaels. Hill Giants are great beginning EXP because they drop good herbs and they're also big bones, and uh, they do and drop the ensouled gigantic heads, and they're kind of really good to train on before you do Dragon Slayer, like we are doing right now. Yes! The legendary free-to-play masterful quest that can either break you or make you on this game. Now, before we actually started Dragon Slayer, or did, we needed to do an Unfire Bowl, and I decided to do Murder Mystery, uh, big mistake, because I thought it was going to take me, like, 12 minutes, uh, and while I was watching a YouTube uh, video guide, uh, the YouTube video guide fucked up. It's kind of annoying watching a YouTube video guide and the motherfucker fucks up in the guide then it takes you double the amount of time. So it actually took me 30 minutes to get like uh, four, 14 crafting or whatever type of crafting, what level. I, I had 12 crafting. Um, but as you basically see right now, we kind of pushed past it and we did the maze or the little thing. This guy was actually a douchebag fighting. Um, I had to hold my nutsack because I was kind of a little nervous because he kept hitting at me with magic. Yeah, you know, no magic defense, it kind of sucks, but you have to do it. Um, then, of course, fighting the lesser demon, it actually wasn't that bad. Theoretically, I could have safe spot him, like on my ultimate Iron Man, I did safe spot him, but I said, fuck it, I have a rune scimitar. I want to be macho, macho big penis and slay him, and uh, kind of took a while, <laughs> but it happened. Um... Yeah, it actually took a long-ass time, believe it or not. I think we gained a strength level as well, um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but then again, fighting the douchebag dragon. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but otherwise, I made a lot of progress on this account, and I am actually very grateful for my little rune scimitar drop. If I had died now, like, I was actually thinking to myself, what if I DC'd and dragged to, died to this lesser demon? Um... I probably would have cried, like really, you know, broken down in tears because I had a rune scimitar and I died to a stupid fucking lesser demon. So anyways, this is me fighting the little Agvar, whatever the hell it's called. Um, a friend of mine did this and he did it with the same combat stats and the same equipment as me and he killed the dragon on his first attempt. The douchebag didn't tell me that he was safe spotting the dragon. Yeah, you can actually safe spot him using melee. Um, it's called flinching, um, aka vaginas do it. If you flinch the big dragon, 
I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. You're a fucking vagina. Just please go and eat some more tacos and put them inside your vagina. Because if you have to flinch a RuneScape boss in order to kill him, that probably means that you're not high enough leveled to actually fight him. So then what you should do is train your fucking stats, you lazy butthole, and then you become high enough. However, for me, I kind of really didn't go back and train my stats. I forgot that there's a trick to fighting Elvarg because I found this out on my Ultimate Iron Man. If you stay in the same world, Elvarg does not fully rejuvenate his hit points. Um, yes, he actually does respawn after you kill him and may, you know, be a shockeroo. But he doesn't respawn. At, I mean, he doesn't, you know, fully heal when you fight him. So, on my ultimate Iron Man, I actually had to teleport back to him, like, two times to actually finish him. Um, it is a method that is a lot better, in my opinion, than fucking flinching. Because flinching is for what? Vaginas. Uh, so you don't want to be a vagina! You actually want to be a man. Unless you're a girl, well, it still doesn't matter. You want to be a man. Um, anyways, right now, what you're seeing is, uh, me doing the walk of, um, the walk of victory. It is awesome and it feels so good to make that final walk back and gaining a whole bunch of uh well strength and uh defense uh, levels and actually uh buying full rune on this game i actually had enough anal beads to do uh imp catcher believe it or not normally that takes everyone a long ass time it actually took me fairly quick to actually do that quest goblin diplomacy i did um because I wanted to do, uh, well, I, I wanted to do a number of quests. It unlocks a few quests. Doing Fight Arena actually gives you a lot of EXP. Um, and, and you can actually safe spot all the bosses. I forgot to record me fighting the bosses at Fight Arena. But it does actually give you a lot of attack EXP and some um, uh, thieving EXP as well. Now, I will say this to you guys. Um, I made a mistake. And the mistake that I made on my 24-hour live stream was doing the quest uh what the hell was it death to the church I, I can't even say the fucking word death to door gesh hun gorsh it's the word is unpronounceable for me because it should not have been done the reason why that i chose to do goblin diplomacy i chose to do death to whatever the fuck it's called um is because in the ham uh underground workshop and by the way i actually learned what ham actually stood for this 24 hour live stream if it's one thing that i actually learned on this game it's what ham actually stood for ham stands for humans against monsters i would have never fucking guessed that stood for humans against monsters it's a very cheesy name but then again jagex is a very cheesy company they like things very cheesy i, I mean it's I, t I like some stuff to be cheesy sometimes. I like Prevalone cheese. So therefore, having cheesy stuff is not the worst thing on this game. But it took me literally about five and a half hours to do this quest. And the reason why is because I had to pickpock um, ham robes. Two full sets. I had to fucking pickpock. And it took me forever. I wanted to gauge my fucking eyeballs out. But once you actually do Death to Destroy Shatan... You can actually go down here, as you're seeing right now, and you can pickpock these guards, which they don't take a while, um, and you get keys. And basically, you have to run around finding which key. There is a guide on the internet, of course. You basically find which key opens which chest, and you actually get jewelry. I was trying to get a ruby necklace to get a fucking amulet of strength, which I still have not gotten. Um, but I ended up getting a whole bunch of emerald rings, hence uh, ring of duelings. I ended up getting a whole bunch of sapphire uh, necklaces or games, or uh, they, I, I can enchant them for games necklaces, so I can actually teleport to like barbarian output or barbarian assault. Um, it just makes my life extremely easier. So having a high level in magic and being able to enchant these things, it does actually work. So the last thing I basically did was I went to Zia. I haven't even been to Zia on my fucking main account. It's pretty damn funny. Zia is actually an awesome place. Um, and I actually need to get 60 loyalty to the... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this damn name. 
I'll just call it the asshole house. It's like our Ark City house or something. I. Why are there such fucking retarded names on this game? Anyways, you need 60 loyalty to use the damn spell book to, um... Basically, I have over, like, 20 gigantic consoled heads. And they give 650 prayer EXP. So, I can easily, probably, most likely get 43 prayer using these heads and casting the spells. Uh, I can easily buy the soul runes in Zia, and I can easily get nature runes drops from Chaos Druids or Hill Giants and Moss Giants. So, as you guys are seeing right now, this is pretty much the last clip in my day three type video where I was fishing in Catherine Bay. My total level was uh, 465, and uh, well, now my total level is 601. Hence, I have gained... A total of 136 uh, little skill points since I made my previous video. Um, it's not as much as, you know, the last time, but I've done a lot in like 29, almost 30 hours. Um, unless I start doing, you know, like runecrafting, construction, hunter, fletching, farming, uh, in the next 24 hour live stream, which is this coming Saturday again. Hooray! Three 24 hour live streams in the past three weeks. Um, I'm probably not going to gain another like 270, like, you know, skill le levels, but it doesn't really matter. I did a lot of shit this past weekend, plus, I did Zia loyalty, which was pretty big. And like I said, I really am glad that I managed to, uh, well, do the Zia loyalty and I can actually start using and sold heads um to gain a lot of prairie xp but overall the past like video i would say or the past 30 hours of doing hardcore iron man it was a humongous success i've done dragon slayer i've gotten full rune now i'm getting my thieving level up i mean my my uh ranging level up along with magic slowly to level 55 hi elking so otherwise for my day five goals i would like to finish my moss giant task I currently have, like, over 100 Moss Giants that I got as a Slayer task. Uh, doing 100 Moss Giants, I'm going to probably most likely maybe get close to, like, 32, 33 range. And also gain a shit ton of fucking Slayer levels. Possibly maybe, like, another 8,000 Slayer EXP. Maybe, hopefully. Uh, then, of course, I would like to do the Grand Tree uh, quest, which I believe requires Tree Gnome Village. So, Tree Genome Village, then Grand Tree... They give a fuck ton of attack EXP. Uh, then I would like to get 60 attack um, in preparation for dragon weapons. 50 strength, 40 range, and I want to do a cor a little bank video or incorporate a little bank video as well. And uh, organize my bank and kind of really show you guys what I've gone and achieved so far. Otherwise, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up and let me know in a nasty little comment. If you guys can do me a favor also and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat if you use it, and uh, Facebook as well. And uh, be there for my next 24-hour live stream this Saturday into Sunday. Alright guys, hope to see you guys soon, and uh, yep, yeah. bye!